Okay, why did you become a principal? Uh, why did I become an assistant principal? I'm not a principal mm -hmm. yet. Um, well, you know, I've always enjoyed working with kids. Before I became an assistant principal here at this school, I was actually a special ed teacher in eighth grade. So really what it comes down to, I felt like I needed a new challenge to do something different. Um, so I went back to school at UNH, took some graduate courses. And when an opening opened up here, it was from middle school, I applied for it, and here I am. Okay, um, do you prefer working with older kids, middle school kids, or elementary school kids? Uh, that's a really good question. I think some people will say that they like to they like to work with younger kids or middle school kids or high school kids. I actually like them all. I think, but if I had to pick, I would definitely pick either middle school or high school kids, old kids. The easier to reason with. Um, where did the middle school's money go to? In regards to what? What do you mean by middle school's money? Well, like the lights and stuff upstairs are always flashing and everything. So. <laughs> Well, the school, the school budget is only has so much money. I mean, and the taxpayers, that's how we pay our teacher's salary and the upkeep of facilities. So this, you have a point. This building is very, very old and could use a lot of work. Um, I think I don't want to speak for the school board or, or anyone else, but I think actually, believe it or not, no matter what shape this building is, the high school is actually much worse. So I think that's why they built a new high school first, and who knows, we'll see what happens here. But I assure you, your parents pay a lot of money in tax dollars for what we have. Um, why can't we wear hats? That's another good question. That's been a policy we've had as long as I've been here, which has been about 10 or 11 years. My thing, what I think the student council should do is, one of the middle schools I worked at before, we would have like a hat day on the last Friday of every month. I think we should do something like that, but whenever I bring those things up to the student council, the student council doesn't, any, doesn't do anything about it. So you know me, my thing is the rules are the rules. Currently our rule is we're not allowed to wear hats in schools, so it's my job to enforce it. But we have had things like hat days and things like that. So. Um, why can't we chew gum? You actually have to, that you can chew gum. If you look at your student gender book, um, which is actually online, the you know our schools our, our school policies uh, in terms of if you can chew gum or not, that's actually up to your teachers in class. It doesn't say you can't chew gum in our school rules or our student handbook. What it does uh, essentially what it is is teachers can determine whether you can or can't chew gum in class. Sometimes, some teachers it might bother, some teachers it doesn't. I myself chew gum sometimes, particularly in the cafeteria. How come recess is, o recess is only 15 minutes? Yeah. Well, we only have, we have a half hour lunch. What I do is we have, we have 15 minutes to eat. And the reason why I do that is to make sure everybody eats and has the opportunity to. Because I think, and you, maybe you can help me with this, if we, as soon as you get down to the cafeteria, if we just said, okay, you can go outside whenever you're ready, what would happen? A lot of kids would just take their lunch and throw it right in the trash and head right outside to play. Uh, so we want to make sure everybody has an opportunity and the time to eat. And, you know, 15 minutes, though, it would sound nice to have a longer amount of time. We have very limited time during the day. I mean, school starts at 740 and ends at 230. If we did two hours of recess, per se, I'm saying that hypothetical, we wouldn't have much time to do anything else. So you have to have math, science, language arts, social studies, and then you have PE, and also an exploratory every day. So we have a lot of things to pack in every day. And you being in seventh grade, you have foreign language as well. So there just isn't a, enough time in the day to do everything we need to do. So you know something though, a lot of schools don't have recess. So, for example, like if you lived in Dover or Ro Rochester, I'm not sure, but I know Dover for sure. If you went to Dover Middle School, you wouldn't have any recess at all. So. Um, what kind of work do you like actually have to do as an assistant principal? What I, one of the, my big responsibilities is I supervise teachers. 
So sometimes you might see me in a class from time to time. It's my responsibility to observe teachers, make sure they're following the district's curriculum, make sure they're doing a good job in regards to the way they teach in class. Uh, I feel like a lot of parent phone calls, the parents have concerns about things. I work on things like student placement, for example, for next year when I place both of you in eighth grade. I'm the one that works on that to make sure you're on the team or you're in a good learning situation so you'll be successful next year. Um, as you know, I have other responsibilities like cafeteria duty and discipline. So, for example, if someone's having an issue in class, they often will get sent down there and it's my responsibility to check in with them, make sure they're going to learn from their mistakes, and if I need to, give them a consequence like after school detention or something. So uh, those, those are some of the things. I have a question. Sure. If you couldn't be an assistant principal, what other job, like what other teaching, like what other position in the school would you want to be? In the school? Yeah. Well, before I was an assistant principal, I was a special education teacher. Um, so I, I really enjoyed that, you know, helping kids with their work and stuff. So I probably would still be doing that if I wasn't an assistant principal. So. Thank you very much. Hey, Thanks. you're welcome.